this lecture we'll talk about Herzberg's two-factor model of motivation, his two-factor theory. Uh, in the 1950s, psychologist Hed, uh, Frederick Herzberg proposed a theory of motivation that focuses on the job, uh, focuses on the job and the environment where the work is done. Um, essentially, he divides it into two pieces. Uh, Maslow's, when, when actual experimentation and empirical work is done, it's Maslow's idea that these things are stacked one another and you can't do one until you do the next. That's not really supported in the evidence. Um, it's a little more subtle than that. Um, hygiene factors, like the physical and the safety, that sort of thing, uh, those relate to the work setting. Uh, these include adequate wages, comfort, safe working conditions, fair company policies, job security. Uh, these don't necessarily motivate employees to excel, but their absence may potentially be, create a source of dissatisfaction and lead to high turnover. Employee safety and comfort are clearly these sorts of hygiene factors. They're the things that keep people there. It's enough to get them working, if you will. Um, you could think of that in, high, in Maslow's sense as the, the, um, the physiological and the safety concerns and to some degree the social concerns. Um, Herzberg then talks about motivational factors. These relate to the content of the work itself. It includes achievement, recognition, involvement, responsibility, and advancement. These are the esteem type things and the self-actualization and then the, the social context. Um, and working in an environment where you like the people you're with, those sorts of things. The absence of motivational factors can result, may not result in dissatisfaction, but their presence, in other words, if they're not there, you may not be dissatisfied, but when they're there, they actually help provide additional uh, motivation, intrinsic motivation for people to excel. They want to be succeed with people and sort of prove themselves with others. Many companies are beginning to employ methods which give employees more responsibility and control and to involve them more in their work, which serves to provide intrinsic motivation and motivate them to higher levels of productivity and quality. The tab table on this slide shows uh, various uh, hygiene and motivational factors, some things that you can see there. Um, hygiene factors, policies, supervision, working conditions, that sort of thing. A good environment to be in, a nice place to work, that kind of thing. Whereas your motivational factors, achievement, recognition, the work itself, personal growth, uh, in, internal uh, development, training opportunities, those kinds of things, challenging work, um, these are the motivational factors that are related to uh, to this, Her this, this Herzberg model. There's uh, significant support in the empirical studies that these this way of thinking about it and you know you could flavor it a little bit with the Maslow's model but this way to think about it um, really does have uh, have a lot going for it in terms of, of proven evidence in, um, in some research that's been done. These are often also translated into a customer service or custom or, or customer centric processes. Uh, hotels for example develop these kinds of things. Doubletree is somebody that's owned by Hilton. Um, they've created care a care committee for each location. It's comprised of, of uh, employees and uh, from all the departments. They try to maximize operational performance and customer satisfaction um, using these same ideas. Customers that come in, you want to motivate them to like their brand, like their stay, and that they're stakeholders, as customers, they're stakeholders of the organization. So some of the same motivation can be applied, helps employees, help the customers, makes everybody happier, including the customers, and increases customer satisfaction. You may wonder why you get these personal notes from this <clears throat> from the service staff or whatever, or you get a little bag whenever you're visiting back. You get a little gift bag when you come in if you've been to a hotel a number of times and you came again. It's those same kind of loyalty programs that are causing, that help to motivate not only the employees to help and make that experience nice for the customers, but makes the customers feel like they're part of something as well. These same kind of motivations. So those, uh, when you think about Maslow's hierarchy and uh, Herzberg's two forces, you, two factors, you can think about how one can frame the sorts of interventions. If you see something going wrong in your work group, 
or your teams or whatever, you could think about it and it sort of helps you know what, what sorts of uh, ways that you can improve performance going forward. Um, in the next uh, lecture, we'll talk a little bit more about how one, if you're in a more of a leader role, how one can motivate employees um, and, and how some of the theories associated with that. This is some, some background theories. We'll start that in the next lecture.